Hi, I'm Dominic Feeney, Product Manager at Crocon. We are the owners of the Anton brand. I think the main challenge that the industry is currently facing is the government's decarbonisation plans. I think it's a really noble effort and it's something that as an industry we need to address and do our part in reducing global uh, CO2 emissions. So it's a very important thing, but I think it's quite a challenge because it does involve moving over to a new fuel type, new types of equipment, new types of training and new working practices. I think the market has a fantastic opportunity to grow as a result of this decarbonisation challenge. It will require, as I mentioned previously, a whole new selection of products. It'll be new fuel types, so there's new boiler technology. There's going to be new types of supporting devices, such as our flue gas analysers, to measure and make sure that those new hydrogen fuel boilers are working properly. There's going to be a whole new element of training needed, new development of working practices. It's a really, really Really strong opportunity for the industry to grow off the back of the decarbonisation challenge. Here at Anton by Crocon, we are responding to these challenges by investing heavily in research and development around the new fuel type. We're already involved in numerous trials on a local level, but also involved with government national trials on how devices such as flue gas analyzers respond with different types and concentrations of different fuels, namely hydrogen. We're looking into the 20% blend, we're looking into 100% hydrogen fuel, and we think that we are heavily invested in trialling, working out how things respond and actively implementing changes to make sure when we do move to a lower CO2 output and we do move to that newer challenge, we will definitely have equipment ready to support and for engineers to use to fulfil the working practices. I definitely see the issue reflected at the show. If you look around the other brands on display here, you'll see that a lot of the appliance manufacturers are showing product tailored for 20% hydrogen blend and also full hydrogen fueling. And this is as a direct result of the government's decarbonisation push. I would like to see further change in the industry over the years. I would love to see a greater push towards improved working practices and efficiency. I think that as an industry, some of the working practices are a little traditional and we should embrace the cloud. We should embrace communication technology and new tools that can enable more efficient and quicker working practices. I also think that the decarbonisation challenge that we've heard about is really noble cause and that as an industry we should go as far as we possibly can in reaching that ultimate goal of a lower net CO2 output. This is our second year exhibiting at Installer Show. We were really pleased with the results that we had here last year. It's in a great central location, so you get turnout from all the different parts of the country, and we get a lot of excitement and engagement from different customer types too. You've got end users here, you've got distributors here, you've got other manufacturers. It's the great and the good of the industry all in one place, so we definitely don't want to miss out on being a part of that. We've only just opened and we're on day one. But one thing I will say is that our push and our development and work with training centres, we've seen a real spike in young people coming through those centres into the industry. They're all getting trained up, they're going into apprentices, they're doing apprenticeships, they're trying to get qualified. So there's a whole raft of new blood coming in, more than we've seen in previous years. So I'm really expecting to see more young people here who are just starting out their careers in this industry.